I uh, got Smokey through a friend who was driving in the jungle of Nadzab, New Guinea, and the Jeep stalled. Uh, Donnie was wiggling the wires and he heard this yapping off to the side of the road. And uh, he turned around and looked and he saw this little gold head trying to jump out of an abandoned foxhole. I don't know how long she was in that foxhole, but she possibly, probably couldn't have survived more than two or three hours out there. Uh, he comes back to the tent and says to me, hey, when you should see the dog I found out in the jungle. He says, yeah, why didn't you give it to me? He says, okay. So I gave him two pounds and that's how I got Smokey. I was uh, assigned to the 26 photo recon squadron. Uh, while I was there, I got dengue fever. I'm in the hospital and we get an announcement that Smokey wins the, 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 uh, the best mascot in the Southwest Pacific and she gets a silver trophy. And uh, with this, I'm in the hospital, so the guys bring it, and they brought a picture, they got a, a Ma Yank magazine with the photo in it. And the nurses see this, this photo and the dog, to hear the story, said, could we ask our CO if we could take Smokey on rounds with us? We got a bunch of wounded fellows coming in from the Biak Island invasion. They love her because she's one of them. And I don't know who she saw or what she did, but I would like to have been there now knowing how it went, to have these wounded uh, GIs have this little dog being around with them. And Smokey is credit, credited with being the first therapy dog on record. I took her uh, on the combat mission, so she went on 12, and she had about 73 combat hours. Uh, while we were there, this is the first air base that was taken. It was at Lingan Gulf, where the main invasion took place. The communications had to get a wire through there, a telephone wire, to call, be in a position to call to get help if anything happened. The combat engineers had moved down to Baguio, 40 miles away. Their fighting was continuing, so all of their equipment was gone. We didn't have that kind of equipment. We'd have to do it the hard way, it lifted everything by hand. And so they asked if uh, Smokey, they thought Smokey could pull the wire through this pipe. Well, this was going to save three days of of 70 men digging, removing the matting, uh, put, pulling the culvert apart, put the wires in, put the culvert back, put, laid the th three foot of sand on top of it, then the matting. We tied a kite string on her and then I, I coaxed her through and, and Gap was feeding the line. Uh, is she still coming? He, yeah, still feeding the line. And so we came through in about two minutes, all of a sudden I saw dust all around and then Smokey come, appeared out of the dust about 10 feet in and I kept calling her and she came through and we were so thrilled because this saved all this particular work. Then they finally pulled the string and they, they got heavier wire and they put the, pulled the cables through. And that was how Smokey did this particular feat. There are six monuments and four additional memorials to Smokey around the world, including one in Brisbane, Australia. In 2011, Smokey received the PDSA Certificate for Animal Bravery or Devotion to Duty. Today, we are so proud that Smokey receives the second Animals and War and Peace Distinguished Service Medal. Congratulations, Smokey, for a job well done.